Greetings, Glitter Gang, and happy Thursday. You're watching Catherine Scraps Live. My name is Catherine, and today we are continuing with the Halloween project that we have been working on for a while now. Um, <laughs> uh, so, you know, it, it, is, it is how it is. I, I always take twice as long to finish something as I think I'm going to. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, so what we've done is we just finished this uh, this in, um, element that goes on the back of the album, uh, completely decorated and everything except for its inserts. So, um, I said we'd do three of these eight by 10 inserts. You can do more, you can do less, you can do none, you know, whatever. But now we just need to figure out how we're going to lay these out. So they're eight by 10. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is on the fronts, I'm gonna put two horizontal like this on the backs. I'm gonna put one like this. We're gonna do journaling here journaling here, pattern paper here, pattern paper here. So that's how we're going to lay it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the photos. Um, all right. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six landscape photos. So we're going to ink all of them and then do a tape chain. And this is going to give you a place to add a lot more photos. So if you are doing this project for something like family holidays or a wedding or even school, anything or, or big vacation, anniversaries, anything where you're going to have a lot of photos, there's plenty of room um, in this book for photos. In fact, this book will probably ultimately have over 100 photos. I wouldn't, well, no, maybe not 100 photos. That's a lot because we can't put a ton of photos on the inside. Although I'm going to put a waterfall in there anyway. So there will be a ton of photos on the inside. Um, but, you know. I'm going to try and put as many photos in it as I can. because I like putting room for photos. What can I say? And then I need three vertical. And for these three vertical, if you wanted to, you could absolutely do, um, You like how I have two different white card stocks? You could do an enlargement on the back as well. And so you could do a five by seven. You can do five by sevens on the front actually as well. Or at least one five by seven on the front. Okay. Some of them are already taped. That's nice. All right. Thanks, past Catherine.
Tiny cat sleeping on the floor, staring at me. Tiny, I'm sorry about earlier. Do you want pets? She gave you guys a drive-by, right? She walked through, said hi. Tiny cat, why are you on the floor? Why aren't you in your house? You have a house. For a while she was doing really well with sleeping in her house. And now she's just like, I'm just gonna sleep on the floor. So, and it's always this one particular spot. Ever since we, you know, got the new lighting, she's got this spot at the base of one of the stands that holds up the rails that all the lights and cameras are hung from. And so she likes to sleep by that. But it's also by the boxes she used to use to get into her house. So I wonder if she's like waiting for her house to show up. I don't know. Maybe she needs a way to get in her house. Like maybe her house is a little too high to jump. It's not, I've seen her do it, but maybe she feels lazy. Yeah, that's a good idea, Melanie. Melanie's saying, you know, a good project for a boring evening or an evening where you're just going to be watching TV is to just, you know, stamp and ink and tape a bunch of photo mats so they're always ready to go. All right, so now we can ink them, or not ink them, we already inked them, stick them down. Cut them apart and stick them down is the next step. All right, so let's get to sticking. put them offset or sort of diagonal in opposite corners. And of course you don't have to do them all the same.
I'll do all three of them different. <laughs> All right, so we've got three different, and then time to put these on the back. There's only so much we can do with these, so, but I'll do all three of them differently. I'll do all three of them differently. Okay, so this one what I'll do is I'll put it in the center. So what we need to do is all right so this is 10 minus this is six and a quarter and that gives us three and three quarters we're going to divide that by two so one and seven eighths is how far up from the bottom we need to stick this One and seven eighths. Oh, hold on. Just want to double check that the other side was still. Uh, stuck down. Alright, so that's in the middle. Then we'll do one in the bottom right corner and then I don't know where the other one will be. Maybe the top left corner. Oh, I'm going to put it in the, maybe I'll put it in the exact middle. So that would be one and seven eighths inches up from the bottom. And then we'll have to calculate how far in from the side. All right, so there's a pen. We don't want a pen for this, we want a pencil. So I'm just gonna lightly with a pencil make a mark one and seven eighths inches up. So now we're going to do eight inches minus four and a quarter inches divided by two, it's also one and seven eighths. Interesting, interesting. Get out of my way.
All right, so now we only need to put it right here at the cor in the corner. And we can stick this down. All right, right in the middle. So then we'll erase what's left. All right. All right, so we've got them. All right, so I'm just going to do some basic math, uh, some make some notes for myself so I know what, I know this is one and seven eighths. I know this is one and seven eighths. On this one, I know that this is three and three quarters, right? Yeah, and that this is three and three quarters. And then on this one, this is one and seven eighths, one and seven eighths, three and three quarters. Okay, and over here, we've got eight minus six and a half, which is uh, one and a half. Yeah, one and a half. And this is 10 minus, let's see, um, eight and seven eighths actually. 10 minus eight and seven eighths is uh, one and an eighth. And so that's both sides written on. What about you? So this is one and a half. And this is one and an eighth. And one and a half. Or one and, yeah. One and a half. One and a half. One and an eighth. Okay, so now we can start laying out pattern paper, journaling spots, and all that goodness. Now that they're all in there. Okay, so I'm gonna set two of them aside and start with one. I'm gonna get my bag of scraps. And we're going to just start cutting and sticking stuff down. Um, I think I need to refresh. I don't know. I'm not seeing the chat, I guess. For some reason. Oh no, you guys just aren't chatting. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Unless. You're just, you're just hypnotized. You're just hypnotized. Okay. All right. So um, we can put pattern paper here, pattern paper here. Let's do journaling, journaling, pattern paper. All right. So. I'm going to need my journaling basics as well. Ah. Okay. All right, so we do already have a little bit of journaling paper we can use. All right, so this one I need to cut, I think I need to cut my paper to one and three eighths to have it fit. 
So I am going to cut my paper to one and three eighths and then just see if it fits. Yes, one and three eighths. Okay, so one and three eighths by four and a half and I need two of them or four and a quarter rather. One and three eighths by four and a quarter for here and for here. And then because this is eight with this one, we know that we need a seven and three quarters. And I just want to see. Oh yeah, so it's seven and three quarters by one. Seven and three quarters by one for the pattern paper that goes across. And let's actually check to see if we have any um, strips that are one inch that we could use. This looks like it could be one inch. It's actually a little bit more. This is close enough. So we could do that one or that one. Or that one. Actually, those are also, okay, well, I'm just going to pull all those out and we'll use them wherever we can. Okay. So, let me just, all right, so for this one, I'm going to use uh, this there's two of them stuck together. I'm going to use this eek, eek, boo eek. And again, this is seven and three quarters is where this one gets cut. So seven and three quarters by one inch. All right, so I'm going to have that. All right, so now we're just going to ink these three and stick them down. All right, now, <sighs> stick this down. Stick that down. OK, 
Okay, so that's a nice little front we've got going there. I'm gonna flip it over to the back. What do you think about a giant frame? What if we used the same paper we used earlier to make a frame? Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Okay. But I don't know if I wanna use that same paper. I wonder if I've got anything. Oh, here's one. Okay. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this to seven and three quarters by nine and three quarters. All right, so now I need, this is a, <laughs> we need to figure out how big to make these side pieces. So we need them to be seven or one and three quarters thick. So we're gonna draw a line one and three quarter inches in from every edge. just lightly with a pencil. Okay, then we're gonna <clears throat> line up this piece and, oh wait, hold on. Top, bottom, right, left. Okay, we're going to draw a line from the corner of the paper to the corner here. Okay, but I want to cut ever so slightly, like I want to cut an eighth of an inch out, like an eighth of an inch channel. So what I'm going to do is, since I don't have a ruler that cuts sixteenths, that a clear ruler, do I have a clear ruler that does sixteenths? No, that would be too useful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up the tiniest hash marks on my ruler with that line. Okay, so then I'm gonna draw another line. And then I'm going to draw a line an eighth of an inch over from that line. Okay, so when I cut this, 
they're going to have an eighth of an inch of black cardstock showing in between them. Or if you don't want to do that, we could just do it. Let's just, well, let's just do it the way we did it before. Since that way it'll be consistent in the pages. Okay. All right. So here's how you cut this out. Just cut out the middle. So just line your pencil line up with your uh, wire and then cut up and cut down. Last one. Okay. So now we have that scrap and we have this frame. All right. So same as before, we're going to cut from corner to corner. And I've lined the two corners up to on the, together on the same line so that it's easier for me to get it straight. All right, and last one. And it's a lot easier to cut on a diagonal if you line the two ends of the diagonal up with the same line on your mat. You know, your mat, your mat is just as much of a tool, or it can be, as it is a thingy that protects your desk. Okay, so now, I didn't cut my inside thick enough, so I'm going to cut an eighth of an inch off the inside of each of these. Yeah, your mat is your friend, exactly. Oh, and of course, it, that's going to be hard to do on this, so I'm going to do it by hand. Yay! Yeah, there we go. All 
Look how pretty. Okay. All right, so now we just need, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and ink all of these and then stick them down. Do, 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 do. Tiny, tiny cat. Are you mad because it's not your month anymore? And you're just a normal cat now? Okay, so I'm going to tape these down now. That's true, it is still October. It is, because Halloween hasn't happened yet, and this project isn't late. That's exactly right. That I forgot that, Barbara Jean, I forgot. I forgot. All right, so now I'm just gonna peel these up off my desk and trim their edges and we can stick them down. October 2020 will never end. It's true. We're in the ultimate cornfield.
Okay, dokes. Now we can stick everything down. All right, so this is the top. Not yet, Judy. Not yet. So we're on part two of the class. The 12th was the earliest. So. That we were quoted. To the bottom. Top, bottom, now we'll do right and left. Look how cute it is. Got our mitered frame. All right, so what should we do? Let's put a little something. Okay, so we're gonna put the little wool of bat on there just so we have a cute little embellishment. Just put it in the, you know, the corner. So elegant in a Count Dracula way. <laughs> Vlad approved.
So I'm going to cut this out. And ink it. I like that the wool of bat is high quality locally sourced out only like I don't you know I only want local wool of bat I don't want import uh, you, if you need to change your settings you uh, on YouTube you click that gear in the bottom right co corner it's like if you have your mouse, then there's a gear somewhere there. Or if you're watching on mobile, if you just tap the screen, the gear should come up. And then you can change your YouTube settings. All right. <gasps> oh, you're on your box. <gasps> She's on her box. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lightly cut where I want to keep the tape on it so that it will, um, you'll still be able to slide a photo underneath it. Right. Great. Come here, tiny cat. Come here and say hi to everybody. Come here. So there's our first one. Very cute. Very cute. Uh, so we just have two more to go. Um, and I'll do them in, tonight because it's, uh, it's 3.56. So it's almost time to wrap it up. So let's just... Um, Let's just leave it with this one. We'll come back tonight. We'll do the other two quickly. Then we'll do the sides. You know, like we have to do these two sides. So we'll decorate the sides. And then it'll be on to the, to the inside of the thing. We'll have completely done the outside. So that's exciting. So um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're watching this as a recording on YouTube, um, you know, the next video will be up in a day or so. Um, and you can check the video description for the full playlist. If you're watching on the archives, just go to the next video. Um, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful afternoon, a wonderful evening. Uh, for those of you overseas who are uh, not going to be with us tonight, have a wonderful weekend. Um, everyone else, I'll see you tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern USA time, which is five hours from now. So whatever time it is where you are now, I will be back in five hours. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye now.